<laughs> Pull that back just a little. On the very edge right here. We got it working now. Let me move back here. Sorry. Let's see what we got here. And some other trains. Let's see if it's faster. Well, no, pretty quick. I think it's catching. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, a little bit. Right, let's see, we'll, we'll know. We'll just set it right behind. Yeah. Okay, the Polar Express is a little faster than the other train, too. Yeah, see? So maybe we'll see, okay, so let's see here. Let's see which one's fast. We know the North Pole, Polar Express is faster. Cause I had to put the other one right behind. Let's see, will this one keep up with it? No, oh my goodness. There we go. So we know Let's see if the green one is going to catch up, but the Grinch is going to catch up with a nightmare before Christmas. I think it is. I actually think. Let's see. Yep. So the green one is catching up. I think, oh my goodness, it is. I don't think it has. Oh my goodness, I don't think it's going to make it around. Okay. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the green one. There we go. I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to take this one off. We're going to wait. And then the, this one goes on right after the Polar Express. This one follows. I didn't even turn it off. Oh, do I have it on track? Ah, I messed it up. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's doing pretty well. Okay. See here. Ah. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, let's see. So here's here's the Polar Express, and it's like one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. There's the train. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. There's the train. Okay. So that space is the same. But I think 
little by little, Jack Skellington is going to slow down. Yeah, the gap is widening. Here are the cars from the branch. Here's the cars. Pole is catching up. They run on the same track, but Polar Express is definitely faster. Look at that. Yeah, look at it catch up. Okay. Now to move. And it's a good thing they don't have all of their cars. Uh, yeah, oh, oh nope. Pick this one up. Look at that. Pretty cool. Okay, so we put them pretty close together. There you go. All right, so we got them running pretty close together. This is going to give you a good idea about speed, okay? There's Polar Express. There's the Grinch. And there is the Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's see. Oh yeah, they're doing pretty good. Looks like the, uh, the two trains are pretty well matched. Now they have sound too, but I don't want to put it on there all together. Because then it's way too loud. Let me see. So the Polar Express is doing really well. And then the other two are staying together pretty well. But... Polar Express is just leaving them behind. So we're using the Polar Express track because it's a little better and it sticks together better. Same, same scale, but it, it snaps together. It has these snaps here, so it snaps really well. So, I love the fact that during this holiday season, there's a ton of trains that are out there. And normally you can't get, like, you can go to hobby shops, or you can go to Amazon, and you can buy them, but you know, during this season, so it's pretty cool. Okay, so, looks like the Grinch is putting a little bit of space between him and the Nightmare, Jack Skellington. But, of course, the Polar Express is catching up. So, I haven't been counting. I have no idea how many uh, laps. But, we'll find out here, because... Remember, we started them right next to each other. And uh, I can only imagine what they would be if they had all their train cars. But their train cars are very light. I mean, they're, they're still going to slow them down. Still going to slow them down. 
So, all right. So now they're starting to show a little gap there between those two. But look, Polar Express is catching up. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to guess two laps. I don't know. We'll see. Two laps. Two laps. So I'm thinking he'll catch him about, well, I don't know. Let's see. What do you think? Three? Two or three? And you see how it closes on the back there. Okay, so that's half the distance. So I'm going to say, oh, my goodness, on those turns, it's catching up. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, uh, it's gonna be this lap. It's gonna be this lap. Oh my goodness. All right. Already caught him. And I think he's slowing him down. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove Jack Skellington. And I hope it didn't slow him down too much. Okay. So based on what we've seen, I'm gonna say six laps. Just gonna put this guy back here. I think we can close in six laps. So we'll count this as lap one. Okay, there's lap one. And remember, they're battery operated. So the longer they go, the more the, la the batteries are going to wear down. So that's lap one. We're coming up on lap two. Ah. Not sure about six laps. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe more. Okay. Here's lap two. And I think, I think where, where the train picks up its speed on corners is the corners really well where the other trains don't. Polar Express is a good train. 40 bucks. Someone said they found one for 30 at Sands. So go to Sam's, buy it. That's a good price. I just found mine and I bought it the day I found it. So I didn't go shopping. I thought it was cool. I did look online and they're fifty dollars online. Okay, so this is four. Okay. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is five. And we're gonna expect the Polar Express to catch up with the Grinch this lap. Yeah, it's gonna happen. You see how close it's getting? Oh my goodness. Watch, watch how it closes on those corners. It goes around the corners so much quicker. Oh! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Are we there? Are, there? Are we close? Are we close? Are we close? Are we close? Uh, and there. There's the touch right there. Okay. So it's a little bit more. So this has two. That's two driving tires. I'm going to turn this off. Go right here. I'm going to turn this one off. Go right here. You can see it. There's, there you go. And we're gonna stop this when we get here. So I hope you enjoy this. We love bringing trains to you. Oh, oh man, it doesn't want to stop. Stop. Ah, okay. See how many driving wheels does it have? Yeah, it's like the others. It basically has one. So anyway, 
So that's Polar Express, the Grinch Express, the Nightmare Before Christmas, the Scary Christmas. And that's how they fare. All on this track. Now, we'll tell you if you buy the other. Uh, this is the train track for the Nightmare and, and the Grinch. It's a little less hardy. That's why I like the... It's not made by Lionel. So this is the way that connects together. And I think, though, if you take it, take some tape, tape together like this. Just take that, put tape like some electrical tape, no one will see it. I think it'll work. But what happens is it sets here, kind of pops up. Not bad. Um, what I haven't found, figured out, is how to connect all the parts together. So I can't make one big loop, because three of these make a circle, not four. And so that caused some issues. So, hope you enjoy that. Brenton from Brim's Exposition. We're bringing some more trains tomorrow. And uh, hope to talk to you soon. Like and subscribe. Thanks.